Hare Krishna. Question, what does it mean to be free from sin? Answer, there are various levels of freedom from sin. At a gross level, there are certain activities which are very harmful for our own spiritual nature, for our relationship with others and for our relationship with, uh, with other living beings and other nature at large. So such acti avoiding such activities is becoming free from sin at one level. So these activities are meat eating, intoxication, gambling, illicit sex. So when we avoid these activities, we are becoming free from sin at one level. But uh, at a higher level, uh, the way to become free from sin is to become connected with God. When we become connected with God, then that itself enables us to experience higher happiness through devotion. God is the source of all happiness. When we connect with Him, we experience higher happiness. And ultimately we do we sinful activities because they promise pleasure. They promise pleasure. And when we want to become free from that uh, temptation, the way is not to deprive ourselves of all pleasure, but to replace sinful pleasures with pure pleasures. So that requires persistent practice. The Bhagavad Gita describes that in 18.37 to 39, it analyzes different kinds of pleasures. And it describes that sinful pleasures are often like nectar in the beginning, but poison in the end. So we need intelligence to know that, okay, all of this seems pleasurable. There may be just an initial fragment of pleasure, but after that there will be a long train of misery. So I will avoid this. And more importantly, it's this kind of pure pleasures are like poison in the beginning, but nectar in the end. So what we do is use our intelligence again to understand that even if this doesn't seem pleasurable, even if becoming devoted to God, acting virtuously in devotion to God doesn't seem pleasurable. If I just keep doing it, then by that I will go through the layer of poison and after going through the layer of poison, I will come to the layer of nectar. Once I come to the layer of nectar, there is constant relish. So purifying ourselves by devoting ourselves to God. <clears throat> so the best way to devote ourselves to God is by chanting His holy names, by studying scriptures. We call this A, B, C, D. Association of devotees. B is studying scripture like Bhagavad Gita. C is chanting the holy names. And D is deity, worshipping the deity of Krishna. By all these, we connect with Krishna, experience higher happiness. And once we experience higher happiness, then we start acting out of selfless love, out of love for Krishna and love for other living beings in relationship with Krishna. When we see all living beings and all of nature as connected with Krishna, then naturally we want to act in service of Krishna, for the pleasure of Krishna, in service of all living beings. And that mood of devotional service automatically <coughs> drives out all urges for selfish pleasure. So the best way to become free from sinful pleasure is by purifying our hearts and devoting ourselves to Krishna and infusing our life's work with a mood of devotional service. Thank you. Hare Krishna.